Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I remember uh, a while ago uh, some people saying that they did not want an iPhone because it did not have some kind of keyboard. I mean, a, a, a physical keyboard. They, they were used to really nasty uh, on-screen keyboards, as I was. Uh, I thought that that was a huge shortcoming uh, for the iPhone as well. And uh, when I was given the opportunity to take a look at a keyboard case, BoxWave sent this to me, and I tried it last night. It's also available in white. This is the, the black edition right here. I'm going to go ahead and step you through it. Uh, ultra sleek, low profile, slide out keyboard design, wireless connection by Bluetooth 2.0. It's too bad it's not 4.0 for the iPhone 4S. Form-fitting shell designed to snap on securely, as well it does. Cutout design allows for quick access to all of Apple's iPhone controls. A charge duration up to two weeks. It's got a micro USB cable on off switch and uh, is compatible with, well, the iPhone 4 and the 4S. So they put the instructions in there as well as the, the Bluetooth, uh, I guess the, the, the serial number, power switch. The iPhone clamps right there in the heart of it, and now the iPhone has a physical keyboard. Again, I have to thank Boxway for sending this to me. I, I probably never would have purchased it on my own. Uh, the keyboard does support the weight of the iPhone. Uh, the keys are as responsive as I've had on any phone with a keyboard. Uh, but I, when I shared the photo yesterday, on Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, you know, everywhere, Instagram and, and Flickr and beyond. Uh, the caption I used was, why? I, I mean, yes, if you really, 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 really want a physical keyboard, this may very well be an option for you. But why? Uh, I, I tried it for about a minute and found myself frustrated and actually slowed down by having to rely on a physical keyboard. Some people want it. Some people, quote unquote, need it. But I gotta tell you guys, uh, Apple got it right the first time. Uh, they don't need to have a billion keyboard apps in their app store. Uh, what they have works well enough. I think Swipe, if anything, uh, has shown an alternative text entry that can work as well for on-screen keyboards. Uh, but uh, I think the day of the quote unquote, real keyboard is, is long past us. Uh, and, I mean, this is nice. It is very, very nice. It's, it's compact, it works you know, well enough for a real keyboard. But you know, some of the, uh, I guess, usefulness of the iPhone is that you don't have to be tethered to a keyboard. You can pull up the keyboard when you need it. And I think as uh, uh, you know, I was uh, you know, playing around with it and realizing I can't get to keys as quickly because this keyboard is long and it's about as long as the iPhone is. And the way that I usually enter text on a screen is when the iPhone is in a portrait orientation or a vertical orientation, at least as far as this is concerned. So I'm able to key in real quick. And then of course, iOS autocorrect uh, makes it you know virtually, uh, I'm not going to say impossible to make a typo. You can make a typo. but I don't find anything lacking in, in the iPhone keyboard myself. Uh, so as man of technology here in the live uh, YouTube feed says, oh, hang on, it scrolled off. Uh, the iPhone speaks for itself and doesn't need a keyboard. I kind of agree. You may believe uh, uh, you know, that it does need a keyboard, in which case this may be the option for you. Uh, and it looks like TechFi says Apple should make one. Uh, they did. It's, it's on screen. Apple is never... Never, I'm telling you, dude, they're never going to make a keyboard case like this. So your best alternative is going to be going uh, with a, a third-party uh, vendor to get a real keyboard for your iPhone. And the fact that it, it does work well and it's a nice case, uh, I, I think, you know, as far as, uh, as, far as I know, uh, this is uh, something that if you thought... And that, to me, just try the on-screen keyboard. If it doesn't work for you, if you want to go back to something physical, fine. But you don't, you don't need to. I, I'm still struggling to figure out a real reason to have this keyboard. I can synchronize my phone or iPad, any iOS device, with a, a Bluetooth keyboard from Apple. And it works well, and that's a big keyboard, and I can key in things really quickly. 
I can even uh, use software to synchronize that keyboard by way of uh, Mac OS X uh, to, by, in Bluetooth to an iPhone. So, I, you know, I just, yeah, it's like imbalance by design says, keyboards seem archaic. That is, to me, that's true. Uh, Celluon Cube Laser Virtual Keyboard is the way to go, says Raker78. I don't know about that. Uh, you know, doing, you know, keying in on a virtual surface, and it might, this screen is hard enough on my fingers, I, I'd hate to, you know, feel uh, my fingertips at the end of the day, they'd, they'd be numb for as fast as I type. I'm a touch typist, so you'd think this would work, but with thumbs, I'm much quicker on a virtual keyboard than I am with uh, physical keyboards, and I, I think, honestly, when I look back on it, um, I cannot remember a time where uh, keying in uh, with my thumbs on a, a a real, and I use that word very loosely, a, a, a physical keyboard. I can't remember when that was uh, fast. So uh, yeah, this is uh, something you might consider though if you thought that that was a shortcoming of the iPhone. Uh, leave it to uh, third-party vendors to address those problems. Not sure if you would want to use it or if you had other issues with the iPhone, but that's just FYI.